Okay, so we are going to start with the Create tab. Okay, so the button's down the side here. We'll start with those basics. Okay, so the first tool we are going to learn about is in the primitive section, and it's called the Box Tool. Very simple, it's just like it sounds. What it does, it creates a box. Okay, now you can look at things in a texture wire mode, texture mode, and a few other different views. Um, for now, we're going to keep everything in wireframe mode for our three views in the quad area, and then we'll just keep our uh, perspective window, which is this one right here, because you can rotate all the way around. You can see everything in perspective. Uh, we're going to keep this in texture wire. Okay, so let's just click off of that. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's drag this out. So with the left mouse button. And then you can click in the bottom window and then drag it up. Hit space bar, A key to center, and you have a box. Okay, so very straightforward. Let's, uh, let's undo that. Let's click on it again. Let's press N for the numeric panel. Okay, and let's, uh, sorry, let's uh, delete this. Okay, let's click on box. Now, just for fun, let's click the reset button. And notice, right now, what it does is it creates a perfect box, one meter by one meter by one meter. Okay, width, height, and depth. Okay, now right now, this box is not actually physically um, committed yet. Okay, it looks like it's been made, but it, it actually hasn't. The way you can tell is by these uh, these blue lines. Okay, right now, it's sort of um, how should I say? It's in creation mode. Okay, now what you can do is before you you click on make, which is a space bar return key, um, what it does, what you're able to do is actually change the the size and the shape of the box. Okay, and you can grab on the corners. Notice it moves it in and out this way. The side, if you grab it on the side, it moves it perfectly left and right here. And you'll notice it does the same thing in, in all the different views. You'll see at the corners, like I was saying, um, where it's blue, you can you can make it, you can size it up in the different uh, axes. Okay. If you grab on the plus sign here, okay, that's the center, we can actually move this around in the screen. Notice I go over here, I can grab it. I can grab it here as well. Okay. So there's a, f like I said, there's a few different ways to size up your box. Okay, so you can do it manually inside of these quad views, or you can actually change the size um, and the center inside of the numeric panel. Okay. So if I drag, so this is width. See how it comes out this way, wide. Now height, notice height wise, I can change the height. Okay, depth, okay, that's going down the Z plane. Okay, so we can change it with these, these little arrows, a little almost like a slider, you just drag your, you click with your left mouse and hold down on it. Go back and forth once again, same thing. Hold down your left mouse drag, right to left. Okay, width does the same thing. Okay, now we can also change the center. So instead of grabbing the plus, the plus, uh, the blue plus sign here, we can actually physically move things around using the center, center features right here, the X, Y, and Z. So we can just like I said, drag left or right 
and it'll actually bring it up and down on those axes. So if you select the X one, okay, it'll drag it back and forth on the X plane. If you notice, there's a little X. Whoops. There's an X on both sides. Z, okay, this way, because we're looking down on it, down the Z plane. So if you click on the Z, you can drag it up and down the Z plane. And the great part about this is that you can... Um, you can type, type in or dial in the exact measurements that you want in here. This is the great part about just doing in the window, sort of eyeballing it, is you can get everything in the initial spot very quickly. But if you need to make some small increments, you can use this, like I said. And it might give you a little bit more control or, or you know, say you want a two-point four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you know, there's an exact measurement you can actually type it in. So anyways, it's really good stuff. Um, now there's also a feature called make UVs. Okay. But before we get into that, we are going to click the space bar. Okay. So that actually, when you hit the space bar, that actually makes the tool now. Okay, so if I click on N, notice that you can no longer um, manipulate it any further. Okay, you can, however, manipulate it just by using, you know, sorry, some of the, uh, just the regular tools like the move tool, and you can re readjust everything from there. Um, but when you're in the numeric panel, um, Basically, that's so that you can you can actually get the exact the exact measurements that you want, and you can actually see them live in that uh, numeric window. Okay, there are ways of measuring stuff inside of this window. We're not going to cover that uh, right now, but uh, there are ways to go back and, if say you don't have the exact measurements, you can uh, you can fix it. Okay, using uh, one of the measuring tools. Okay, so let's uh, clear this out. 